To say that we live in interesting times is a huge understatement. There is so much going on in our world at any given moment, and that can feel very overwhelming. Um, and sometimes when that happens, I, I like to turn to art as a way to process certain emotions um, and things of that nature. And one of my favorite authors is Charles Bukowski, both before his fiction as well as his poetry. And so I wanted to read a poem called Dinosauria We. And it's not a very uplifting poem, as you'll see, but I think what it is is a forewarning of, you know, where he thought things were headed. And you'll see that it's kind of alarmingly resonant with where we are today. Um, So let me read you the poem and then we'll kind of really dissect it a little bit more. So, as I said, it's called Dinosauria We. Born like this, into this, as the chalk faces smile, as Mrs. Death laughs, as the elevators break, as political landscapes dissolve, as a supermarket bag boy holds a college degree, as the oily fish spit out their oily prey, as the sun is masked, we are born like this, into this, into these carefully mad wars, into the sight of broken factory windows of emptiness, into bars where people no longer speak to each other, into fist fights that end as shootings and knifings. Born into this, into hospitals which are so expensive that it's cheaper to die, into lawyers who charge so much it's cheaper to plead guilty, into a country where the jails are full and the madhouses closed into a place where the masses elevate fools into rich heroes. Born into this, walking and living through this, dying because of this, muted because of this, castrated, debauched, disinherited because of this, fooled by this, used by this, pissed on by this, made crazy and sick by this, made violent, made inhumane by this. The heart is blackened, the fingers reach for the throat, the gun, the knife, the bomb. The fingers reach toward an unresponsive God. The fingers reach for the bottle, the pill, the powder. We are born into the sorrowful deadliness. We are born into a government 60 years in debt and that soon will be unable to even pay the interest on that debt. And the banks will burn, money will be useless. There will be open and unpunished murder in the streets. There will be guns and roving mobs. Land will be useless. Food will be a diminishing return. Nuclear power will be taken over by many. Explosions will continually shake the earth. Radiated robot men will stalk each other. The rich and the chosen will watch from space platforms. Dante's Inferno will be made to look like a children's bat- playground. The sun will not be seen and it will always be night. Trees will die. All vegetation will die. Radiated men will eat the flesh of radiated men. The sea will be poisoned. The lakes and the rivers will vanish. Rain will be the new gold. The rotting bodies of men and animals will stink in the dark wind. The last few survivors will be overtaken by new and hideous diseases. And the space platforms will be destroyed by attrition, the petering out of supplies the natural theory of general decay. And there will be the most beautiful silence never heard, born out of that, the sun still hidden there, awaiting the next chapter. So a very haunting look at, uh, you know, sort of humanity's future. And it's, it's haunting because it eerily very much reflects our times, right? You know, he was experiencing this in in his own day, but now, uh, you know, we can certainly kind of extract that into a more gripping reality. And that can be tough to swallow, right? But I think art such as this serves as a catalyst, a forewarning, like, hey, if this resonates with you, if this doesn't feel good, you still have some agency. Right. You know what he's talking about, you know, um, in terms of where things could be headed in theory. Right. And, and, and obviously it's fiction. 
But that idea that essentially, you know, it's called Dinosauria we, meaning humanity will be extinct like the dinosaurs. Well, we're not there yet. And so we get some agency over how we want to do this. And, you know, especially at the top, uh, it really reflects these choices made by us as people. And, you know, when you, when you look at the problems of the world, a lot of it's just man-made. A lot of it's invented, right? The, the idea of money and debt and so forth, like those, it's just made up. And, you know, when I look at the world, I really think that we could live in a utopia tomorrow if we all chose to. But for some reason, every day we actively engage in not that. And so may, may we be headed towards this future? Who knows? Um, but, but we do get a choice. So I hope you got something out of that poem.